stay first few seconds I don't even know if it's like 30 seconds or a minute but when I've been doing live videos lately there's no sound in the beginning so yeah I'm talking now hopefully you can hear me anybody that's on here give me a thumbs up let me know you can hear me I'm gonna go ahead and start with my botanical foundation so this is the final look of five looks that I have been showing you over the past I think week and a half holy cannoli I put too much on here <laughs> Usually I can do half my face, you guys. I just put way too much on. This is to show you how, I mean, I didn't do that on purpose, but this is showing you how heavily pigmented this is. This is such, it's very lightweight, but very heavily pigmented. Anyways, on to today's look. So the final look that is on trend for the fall 2016 season is to be using bright colors and or glitter. You okay, honey? All right, my daughter's in the other room watching some TV, so she may, she may make an appearance. We'll see, I try to distract her while I do this, but we'll see. Okay, so um, I'm really excited about the bright colors. I don't have a ton of bright colors. Our current eyeshadow palette has 18 shades and the name of our palette is the Feeling is neutral so most of the colors that I have are neutrals but we are coming out in just a few weeks I'm super excited we have collaborated with um, Lottie Standard she's a makeup artist for celebrities and a lot of um, print ads that you've seen in um, beauty advertisements if you're not familiar with her you're probably familiar with her work if you've ever looked in a beauty magazine go ahead and go to lot star L O my cat just Sorry, I'm at the patio and the door's open. The cat's just knocked over a bunch of stuff outside. So anyways, Lotstar, L-O-T-S-T-A-R.com. You can see some of Lottie's work. And we have collaborated with her. And in just, oh my gosh, I think two weeks, maybe a little bit more than two weeks, um, we've collaborated with her and we're getting 12 new eyeshadow shades. And there's going to be some really fun, bright colors in there. So um, I probably will want to redo this trend once I get those bright colors on hand. But today, I'm actually going to attempt to use some glitter in my makeup. And I honestly don't think I've put glitter in my makeup since I was in high school and college and I was a cheerleader. So um, it's gonna be really fun, funky look. Okay. So there's that, got my foundation done. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of blush. Focus is gonna be on the eyes today. So once I get that glitter out. And I have i haven't used this type of glitter that I'm about to use ever. So um, first I'm gonna go ahead and just put a base of color on my eyes. And then I'll go in with the glitter. So I'm just gonna take this, this light color here and I'm just gonna do it all over my lid just to get that in there. Normally I use our concealer as a primer, but I have a glitter primer that I purchased from ELF, ELF, I don't know if you're supposed to call it ELF or ELF, but yeah, I'll be showing you that in one second. But I don't know exactly know how it's going to work. I'm going to put that primer on top of the eyeshadow that I've already put on because it's specifically for holding glitter on. All right, so just... Getting this in here. There we go. And next, because this, okay, this is the glitter I'm gonna be putting on. It's by JCAT. This is just a loose glitter, but it's made for makeup. Um, let me see if I can show you the inside of that. Does that help a little bit better? So it's got a few different colors, but it's got a blue, blue main tint to it. And here is the primer I'm gonna use by ELF. It's a glitter primer. So I'm gonna do that in a minute, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeshadow on and I'm gonna go with this, these blues because that's kind of a nice bright color. And um, here's my brush on my lap, <laughs> sorry. All right. I figured the blue shadow with the blue glitter would be the best combo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this in my crease. 
and I'm using this darker blue. I believe this is called Ready, Jet, Set, Go. We have some really cute names for our shadows. Do you hear the birds? We just got our balcony screen in yesterday, so I can now do these videos with the door open and let my cats in and out and can hear more of nature. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of birds chirping right now. It's really, really pretty. It's a gorgeous day out here today. I hope you're all having a happy, happy Saturday. I know a lot of people have the weekends off. My schedule is always different, so sometimes I work on the weekends, sometimes I'm home. Alrighty, so I'm just going to get that mostly in the crease, and I just want a little bit towards the edge. And next I'm going to go through with this lighter blue, which is called High Color. High quality. And like you can see, like I'm barely touching. Do you see that? These colors are very heavily pigmented. And once I get this fun glitter, I'm actually gonna let you guys choose which lip color I'm gonna wear today. I have three lip colors. One is a very pink color. So I know most of you will probably pick pink. Cause that is my, as you know, uncomfortable zone, I guess you will. Alrighty. So I am about to try two things that I have not done on a live feed before and I'm a little bit nervous. And if I screw it up, oh well, I'll wash it off later. But <laughs> All right, so I've got the blue on, liking that. All right, I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm gonna use some liquid eyeliner for the first time on a live feed, and I am just terrible with liquid eyeliner. I have actually been practicing it on my wrist before this video. I don't usually know what I'm gonna use before I make these videos, but since I had the glitter, I kind of had to pick out the colors ahead of time. So bear with me. Hopefully I don't screw this up. It is not, it's not what I'm really good at, is liquid liner. See, I'm already messing up. I don't know why, like I'm really good with the, either a pencil, it's not too bad. Okay. Now, this is the other eye, we'll see. Any ladies that have had trouble with liquid eyeliner? You know you only get, you usually get one eye better than the other. Alright, how do I do this? My child's talking to the TV. I thought she was talking to me for a second. I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. Okay, so. Not too bad, actually. That's one of my better liquid eyeliner attempts. Yes, it's just, just not my uh, comfort zone. So, okay, now for the glitter. Dun, dun, dun. Where's the brush I need? Okay, bear with me. So I'm gonna use this glitter primer. This is, I just got this out of the package. First time I'm using it, so I cannot guarantee how this is gonna go over. But yeah, let's, let's do this together. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I just squirted a little bit of this primer onto my finger. And what the directions say are to get this onto your lids or wherever you want it to hold the glitter in place and then put the glitter on like as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna lightly put this on top of shadow I've already done, trying not to remove the shadow, of course. So I'm just keeping it down in the lower parts. 
then um, this is the glitter, like I've showed you in earlier by J Cat, and it's just a loose glitter. It's it's almost like craft glitter, but really fine. I don't even know if I can get my my brush to go in here, but I'm just gonna. Um, I might have to get a different brush. Okay, let's see. Bear with me. Oh, fun! See, it's working. So I'm just gonna. I'm kind of like just tipping it onto the brush. And this glitter, it says it's made specifically for makeup, but it's it needs to be used with a primer because it is it is a loose glitter. So you don't want to get glitter in your eyes. I feel like I'm like walking disco ball right now. Ooh. I now have a glittery knee. <laughs> I've got glitter all over my knee, but that's okay. I only vacuumed last night, so of course I have to spill something all over my myself in my room. This would be fun if I was going out like to a fun party or club or something. All right, there's that glitter look. <sighs> this is really fun. And then this brand of glitter that I got, you guys, JCat, they have like a ton of different colors, tons and tons of different colors. Okay, dokie. So next, I'm gonna put my brows on real quick. And then I will let you guys choose the, uh, you guys get to choose the color lipstick I'm going to wear. I'll show you those in just a second. Two are um, neutrals, but they're darker neutrals. The names of the colors that I have are Macaroon Salted Caramel, which is the darkest one. So Macaroon is going to be a medium neutral. Salted caramel is a dark, dark neutral. And then cupcake is going to be a bright pink. I actually did a video with my daughter putting cupcake on either a few days ago or last week. So I will show you those colors in just a minute and you guys can vote. And then I'll put my mascara on. All right, get my brows in place. All righty. So before I pop on my mascara, I just want to show you guys the three colors. So you take a look, and as I'm putting my mascara on, you can vote. This is Macaroon. I'll hold it up to the eyes so you can sh see what the colors look like with these glitter eyes. The next one is Salted Caramel. There's that color. And the final one, which is so out of my comfort zone, and whenever I have you guys pick a lip color, you always go for the pink, so I feel like this will be the winner. But yeah, this one's called Cupcake. So those are the three colors to choose from. So you guys start throwing some comments down below. And I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to do my finishing spray. And then I'm going to put my mascara on. Am I back? Okay. My Wi-Fi cut out for a second. Oh, I got glitter on my face. So for those of you that just joined, I just showed up three lipsticks, cupcake or caramel. Thank you, Michelle. I held up three lipsticks and I'll hold them up again in a second. Um, all right. Connection keeps going out. I'm sorry, guys. But for those that just joined, I dropped one. Where'd it go? I totally dropped one of the lip colors. Ah! All right, I'm back. <laughs> So this is Macaroon, show that, Salted Caramel, and Cupcake. So those are the three colors to choose from, and once I'm done with my mascara, I will go with the one that gets the most votes, so feel free to comment below with which lip color I should be wearing today. So far Michelle wrote Cupcake or Caramel. 
Well, Michelle, if nobody else pipes in, you're going to have to pick one of those two, okay? All right, there's that. A bit on the bottom. Now I'm going to go through and put my lip liner on. Sorry, it's hard to talk when I do my lips. Real quick before I finish my liner, for those that just joined, I'm having everybody vote on which lip color I should wear today. I'm going to show it next to my glittery eyes. This is Salted Caramel, Macaroon, and Cupcake. So pick one of those three. In just a second, I will be putting one on. Salted caramel, all right. Thank you, Michelle, for your participation. So anybody else going once, going twice? Bueller, Bueller, anyone? There's actually, I know there's a delay when you, when you guys write below or comment below, there's a delay before I see it in case you weren't aware of that. So I don't know if anybody else is typing, but as of now, it looks like Salted Caramel is the winner. So that is actually the darkest one, see? Yep, this is Salted Caramel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. This is actually the first um, enduring lip color that I ever tried before I even joined Limelight. I went to a friend's house who had it and I tried it. It's, I thought it was too dark for me, but everybody loved it on me, so. And I think I've only worn it once since. You okay, honey? Okay. If she comes in here, there's gonna be makeup and glitter everywhere. All right. Now the trick is with our enduring lip color, this is a liquid lipstick that's gonna, once it dries, and it does not dry out your lips, but once it dries, it's gonna last all day on your lips. So if you've seen me put it on, I try to go to the center of my lips first, and then I slowly go to the outside. Cause if you go beyond your lip line, you might have trouble getting it off. Thank you, Michelle. So that is my fun look, showing off some glitter. Show you with my eyes closed. Well, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And um, all the looks that I've done, this is the fifth one and the final look for the on-trend looks for fall of 2016. I have um, taken some selfies as soon as I finish the videos. So I'm gonna put some collages together and you guys can vote on your favorite look. I don't know if I'm gonna get that out to you tonight or if it'll be tomorrow, the absolute latest, but I'll get those collages out to you guys to vote on. But thanks for watching. and. It's the middle of the day on a Saturday and I look like I'm ready to go to the club and I have to go to the grocery store. So this is going to be fun. But yeah, makeup's fun. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I love you all. Thanks for your support and I will talk to you later. Bye.